Well, hello everybody. It is Sunday, March 1st. And you know that saying how March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb? Well, pretty much it's coming in like a lamb because it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to get up to 50 degrees here today. So I'm just finishing my shift at the hotel and I'm heading home to get the dog out and change my clothes and then I'm going to this birthday party. So in my mind, I'm planning a cheat day. Because I know I'm going to go to this party and there's going to be really good food and I'm going to want to eat it. So my plan is to enjoy the food, not to go overboard, and have a piece of cake. So that's my plan. I probably will be going over my 23 points today, but I have like 40 weeklies. So. In my mind, that's what is going to happen today. So, anyway, I had two hard boiled eggs and an orange, and then I had my fat free half and half, so that's two points. But I did have a cookie before I left, so I'm going to count three points for that cookie. Uh, so, well, let's call it five points so far today. I am kind of getting hungry, so I might go ahead and have like an apple or, well, no, I don't have any apples at home. Uh, maybe a cheese stick before I leave, you know, so I'm not going famished. Um, I have a little bit of that chicken left over from last night. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to need to eat something before I head over to the party because I'm pretty hungry right now. So, anyway, I can't wait to get home and get out of these shoes and change my clothes. Maybe I can get Molly down the steps this, now that the sun is out. She wouldn't go down this morning. So, she's been holding it until I get home from work. Then she'll go out and she'll poop and pee and come back in. I don't know why all of a sudden she's afraid to go down those stairs. Yesterday, I carried her down. dark and the steps are a dark metal and she can't see I think it scares her although there's snow on the steps so I don't know I don't know what her deal is right now so I know the other day she went and she peed in a snow pile on the roof and she was okay with that I'm not okay with that I said now that it's daylight and the sun is out maybe she'll be more inclined to go out so anywho uh, my scale bounced up again today it was 187.1 happening is that I, I lost a lot of weight in February and my body just kind of doing an adjustment thing because there was absolutely no reason I didn't eat anything that would have caused it to go up and yeah it was only like you know 0.6 but still but like I told you you know I I go through these body fluctuations where I have a good loss and I'll have two or three days where I have a slight gain and then I'll lose it all at once. I can't explain it. Women's bodies are just so weird. I'm telling you what, the sunshine and the fact that it's, you know, it's 40 degrees out right now really making me want spring. Today is meteorology meteorological spring of course the real first day of spring I think is on March 19th it's coming and just because it's spring doesn't mean the weather is going to cooperate but I guess we got rain moving in it will melt all this snow and everything will just be one big muddy mess oh joy 
love it when it's a muddy mess and the dog comes in. <laughs> I have a mat outside of my door that, you know, whenever she comes in, she kind of does a little dance in front of the door, so hopefully that'll clean off her paws. Tomorrow and Tuesday, I'm all by myself at work, so I'll be there a little bit longer. I mean, I've been getting out. When she's there, I'm out in five hours. So depending on how busy the hotel is, you know, I could possibly be out by one. That's my goal, is to be out of there by one tomorrow and Monday. Tomorrow is Monday, tomorrow and Tuesday. Because that gives me a nice little long afternoon, and then... I'm off on Wednesday. I have to work at Walmart on Wednesday. And I have to look at my schedule. I don't remember if this is the week that I work Wednesday and Thursday at Walmart, which I really don't like because then I don't really have days off. But uh, I think I work Wednesday and Friday this week. And I have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday off at the hotel. So. I might get, you know, one day off that I don't have to do anything. So, I'm getting my nails done this week though. One of them broke. You probably can't see that. One of them broke and they're too long anyway, so I need to get them done again. It's my one splurge. I get my nails done once a month. I do it because I like it. It makes me feel good. And also, I know whenever I got my nails done, Joe really liked it. He always, he always liked the girly girl part of me, you know. But mostly I do it just because it makes me feel good. And I save up the money out of every paycheck to get it done, so it's what I save for. That and my hair trim, which I'm going to need to do here pretty soon. Alright then. Busy road, people stopping here. So, what are your plans for the weekend? Do you did you do you guys do meal planning on Sundays? I used to be very diligent about doing meal plans on on Sundays. I've kind of not done it for a while because right now I'm eating whatever I have left. I told my daughter last night. I can go grocery shopping on March 19th. So she said, Mom, if you need groceries, I'll send you money. I said, No, I don't need groceries. I, that's why I can. So, I mean, I have, I don't have a lot of fresh produce right now. But uh, I think out of this paycheck, I allotted a little bit of money to go pick up some fruit and veggies. But I'll do my main grocery shopping on March 19th. So I may start meal planning again. I know that uh, it really helped me out. And I lost weight consistently when I was meal planning. Also gave me some variety. But, you know, I've been having variety out of my freezer. So, but now all I have is chicken. So for the next couple of weeks, I'll just be exploring a thousand ways to prepare chicken. Luckily, I like chicken. So, I know the one thing I need, I need some of that uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce because I'm out of that. And I really do like that. It's from, it's G. Hughes uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce. He also has a ketchup. The ketchup, it has, I think, points in it though. Barbecue sauce is zero points for two tablespoons. I want to 
know if any of you make your own sugar-free, fat-free chocolate syrup. I tried something the other day. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever made. So I thought, I'm going to put it out there and ask you guys if any of you made it. And if so, will you share your recipe with me? Because I, well, I think I put too much cocoa in it for one thing. And, uh, you know, Walmart has a sugar-free chocolate syrup that I used to get. I used to get some at Kroger's, too. And the last time I've looked, I couldn't find any. So, I have noticed that Kroger has stopped carrying a lot of fat-free stuff that I used to get there. Like, I can't find the fat-free shredded cheddar there anymore by craft and I can get it at Walmart still but not at Kroger I couldn't find the sugar-free syrup there was something else oh the healthy life bread I can't get that at Kroger anymore I can get that at Walmart uh, I couldn't find the tomorrow's wrap at Kroger but Walmart has it I don't know why Kroger stopped carrying some of this stuff. And I don't know what happened to all of the Weight Watcher products. Like I used to buy the Weight Watcher string cheese and that's not there anymore. I've been getting the Frigo light string cheese. And uh, you know, like the Weight Watchers yogurts. So uh, what happened to all those Weight Watcher products? I mean, I don't go to, I'm not in the meeting room, so I don't hear a lot of that news. If you know, let me know, because if it's just my store, I'm going to start making some, write, write some letters. But that Kraft fat-free cheddar, why can't I get it at Walmart and I can't get it at Kroger? I don't know. I smell like cleaning products that I was using on the mirror. Since I've been working at the hotel, my hands have gotten really, really dry, so I've been having to put lotion a lot on my hands because my hands are constantly in dishwater or in, you know, with cleaning products, which is why probably my nail broke. So, the hand lotion I like best is by Avon, their silicone glove. Or whatever it's called. So, all right, well, I'm home. I'll talk to you later, let you know how the party went. Bye. Okay, well, I'm leaving as a birthday party. Didn't do too bad. I haven't figured a point yet, except for I had a bag of the baked Cheetos. Oh my gosh, so good. And I did scan that, that was six points. And uh, they had Jimmy John's sandwiches, but you know those Little John's that they're making now? I don't think they're in the app yet. They're like half the size of a regular Jimmy John's and the bread's real thin. That's what I had. Um, and it was the turkey. So I don't know how many points that is. It was a number four. Um, I'll have to look to see if I can figure any of that out. And I did have two small pieces of cake. One was a raspberry lemon, which was wonderful. And then there was a chocolate, which was also very good. Small pieces though. So, I mean, I'm sure it covered my points for the day, but uh, I didn't do bad at all. I'm really kind of glad that they had the lunch set up like they did because it was like an individual servings. It wasn't like a a smorgasbord or buffet type thing you know so all in all very good they had turkey the choice of turkey and this didn't have any cheese on it and uh, or ham and cheese or tuna and I know the tuna that they make at like Subway and at Jimmy John's has a lot a lot of mayonnaise in it so uh, I just went with the turkey. 
so anyway, I'm probably going to have some yogurt and fruit and maybe a bowl of cereal tonight. I don't know. I Like I said, I have some leftover chicken if I'm hungry later. But right now, I think I'm more thirsty than anything else. So when I get home, I'm going to have a big glass of water. And uh, just kind of chill. I'm going to change my clothes, get into my... I don't care what I'm wearing clothes because I got black pants on and uh, my dog is white and I have, I really should sweep my apartment because there's dog hair everywhere plus the cat the cat is shedding too so you know you know that springs on the way because they're both shedding really really bad she did go down the steps today after I got home from work this morning, she did go down the stairs to go potty. She almost went over to the spot where she peed on the roof, and I said, nope, you got to go down. And she went down and did her thing. So I think it's just the dark that she doesn't like. And the fact that it was covered with snow, so she couldn't really see the steps. And at night, the, you know, the steps are dark. They're that dark metal. And... You know she has a hard time seeing so I think that's what's going on with her so you know she's 10 years old so anyway I'm glad that she in the daylight at least she goes down so I try to get her out two or three times during the day when I'm home uh, and then she's okay for the night so this morning though when I took her out it was just the Sun was just starting to come up Next week it might be better because uh, time changes, you know. Or does that mean it's still going to be dark in the morning? I don't know. That gets me all confused. So, because when it's 6 o'clock now, it'll be 7 o'clock next week. You know, so it'll be worse in the morning. It'll be darker in the morning. Okay, there are a lot of people out walking today. It's gorgeous. 48 degrees right now. They said it was supposed to get 50, up to 50. But there must be something going on down downtown Maumee. A lot of people trying to get into the pizza place. There must be a concert at the Village Idiot. That's the name of a pub. Today's the last day of restaurant week. But a lot of the small businesses are open. Oh, well, the music store is open. A lot of these small businesses are open and they're normally closed on Sundays, so I don't know. Something special must be going on in Mommy. Don't know. I'm driving through. I'm going home. Ran into my son, my youngest one, and I just talked with him and my little juicy boy the MATLAB mix that we rescued that he has now. He's such a sweet boy. I miss him. But, um, anyway, I think they're going to step over in a little bit. He said, I think I'll go home and take a nap first and then come over. I said, no, why don't you just go home? And he was picking up his girlfriend from work and I said, why don't you just go home and then come back over to my place because by the time you take a nap, and get ready to come over, it's going to be time for me to go to bed. So, he goes, what? You go to bed at 7? And I said, pretty darn close. When I have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. So Tomorrow, I wanted to tell you this now, while I'm thinking about it. Tomorrow, since I got my new computer, I'm going to try a Monday Night Live chat on YouTube. And I'm thinking it's going to be about 7 o'clock. And we'll go for maybe a half an hour or so because I have to get up so early in the morning. 7 o'clock Eastern. I'll put it up on my Facebook page so that uh, you can all remember. But uh, 7 o'clock Eastern. And uh, I'll uh, when I post it on my Facebook page, I'll tell you what the topic's going to be. I kind of think I know. I kind of want to talk about how losing weight is hard. Um, 
how losing weight can still fit into your daily life and you can still be successful. But I'll refine that top a little bit and put it up later on my Sue um, Slims Downs with WW Facebook page. So the one gal that follows me on YouTube, or one of the gals that follows me on YouTube, was there at this birthday party today. And she came up to me, she goes, I cannot believe it. The last time I saw her was, I wanna say, Memorial Day 2018. She said, I cannot believe how much you have changed since the last time I saw you. Then the guy who's, birthday party it was it was a surprise for him before he left he goes you know you look like a high school cheerleader <laughs> oh gee thanks I'm sure you're just being really kind but uh, no I don't look like a high school cheerleader but uh, that's what he told me so <laughs> I thought it was funny I never was a high school cheerleader I wanted to say I was a twirler <laughs> But anyway, I thought it was funny. So, anyway, I'll put that information up on my uh, Facebook page. If you haven't joined my Facebook page, send me a join request. It's Sue Slims Down with WW. And uh, I'll approve you. And then you can see all my notifications. Which I'm starting to put more stuff up there now. That now that I have afternoons off, I have a little bit more time to spend on that page. Um, I just don't want to get too overtaxed with social media because then I'll get overwhelmed with, you know, trying to keep up with it all. And uh, then I fail. Which is part of weight loss problems, actually. We get overwhelmed with stuff and then we just fail because we don't do it. Maybe we'll talk about that tomorrow night, too. Anyway, I'll let you go. I did not record a darn thing that I ate this afternoon or today. Uh, if I decide to have dinner, I will record that for you and show it to you. So I'll be back in a bit. Decided to have a little snack before I fix my dinner. Um, this is just 170 grams of my homemade yogurt. And I mixed it. And actually, it got pretty thick, thicker than what I thought it was going to. I mixed it with some blue, a uh, little bit of blueberries and a banana and just a splash of vanilla flavoring. So this is all zero points. Decided to have a little bit of a dinner. I'm having my leftover chicken. Zero points. It's 137 grams. I've got it on a bed of grilled veggies. And I also have one flour tortilla. It's a La Banderita. Three points for the tortilla. So it is a three-point dinner. Well, I wanted to wrap things up here for the day. Um, I figured everything into my tracker. And as far as I figured out, I ended up with 29 points for today, which wasn't bad. I did find the nutritional information on that Jimmy John sandwich online, and I put that in. And that Little John sandwich, the turkey tom that I had, um was seven points. I thought it was a little less than that, but no, I, I'm glad I put it in the tracker because now I know. Seven points for that little John. And uh, I mean, it was good. So that, the seven points with that, plus the uh, baked Cheetos that I had with it, that was 13 points. And then the other points came from uh, the two small pieces of cake that I had. Uh, as near as I can figure out, I had about 25 points for lunch. Uh, the rest of the day was simple. I ended up the day with 29 points. So, not too bad. I got into my weeklies, but I still have 37 week 36 weeklies left right now. So, overall, not a bad day. Uh, I am glad that I went to the party. There were more chips available, and I did not have any. I drank water instead of pop. So that was good, too. <clears throat> so I kind of knew I was going to go over points today. And, um, okay. I kind of, I planned for it, so it is fine. 
I will be back tomorrow and show you what I'm eating. Um, probably I'm going to have the same thing for breakfast because I'll eat breakfast at the hotel. I know that for our breakfast is like a breakfast sandwich, which I will not have. But uh, probably the, the hard-boiled eggs are good for me. I mean, I, I'm satisfied with that and a piece of fruit. So, and taking my fat-free half and half has been cutting down on the points that I've been using. Because it, even though it's skim milk that I was drinking, it still has points, you know, when you add it up. So, okay, well, that's going to do it for me. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. Watch my Facebook page, um, Sue Slims Down with WW on Facebook. I will post again about my, uh, or I will post about my uh, live that I'm going to do tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Eastern. Uh, if it works. Last time I tried it, it did not work. So we'll see. It, it will be a test. <laughs> so, and then um, I'm still kind of trying to decide what I want to talk about tomorrow night, but I'll put that up on my Facebook page. So if you are not a member of my Facebook page, please head on over there and send me a join request and I'll make sure that you're in. So, okay, you guys, you have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow.